Magnetic resonance is familiar to most of us. In fact, many of us have experienced an MRI scan, or at least know someone who has. Magnetic resonance imaging, as it is known officially, allows us not only to view bones and tendons, but also soft tissues, nerve bundles and tumors. Magnetic resonance is not only good for medical diagnosis, there are many, many applications to physics, chemistry and biology that allow us to get a better understanding of the world around us. My name is Jeffrey Bodenhausen. I'm a professor of chemistry and teach nuclear magnetic resonance here at the École Polytechnique in Lausanne in Switzerland and also at the École Normale Supérieure in Paris in France. Within the broad field of magnetic resonance, I have many interests, ranging from solids to liquids, including new methods for drug screening and many other applications. At both APFL and ANS, I have the pleasure of leading two lively research groups. This MOOC is based upon the second edition of Nuclear Magnetic Resonance, a little book written by Peter Hoare at Oxford University. In the video lectures, I will be covering the same range of subjects as Peter has in his book, and I will be following the same structure divided into six chapters. I strongly recommend that you get a copy of Peter Hall's book, as it goes into much greater detail than I am able to do in this MOOC. In addition to the subjects covered in the book, this MOOC also contains a few extra lectures that will be presented by Sami Jeanne. These cover some cutting-edge, state-of-the-art applications of magnetic resonance. Throughout the course, we will be covering subjects like chemical shifts, scalar couplings, dipolar couplings, chemical reactions, and the return of the magnetization to its equilibrium, a process that we call relaxation. And also, of course, methods for recording signals, including Fourier transforms and the like. The main objective of this course is to give you a basic understanding of how magnetic resonance actually works. This information will be helpful for a range of fields from physics and chemistry to neurosciences. To supplement the video lectures, we will include some downloadable information and also interactive exercises so that you can test yourself along the way. I look forward to receiving you all for this course on basic steps in magnetic resonance.